there was no rape. There was no like sexual abuse. There was no robbery. You could leave your house open at night. There was no crime. And why? Because they didn't have all these things that we have. Um, the self-judgment and self-incrimination. The sexually or other ways. So if you so this is the reason, by the way, I'm just trying to help educate you here. This is the reason why society in the past has done this, because they've been fearful. The people in control and in power, they were afraid to lose power. And they realized and knew that if you can get people to become uptight and judgment, judgmental about themselves, then they'll project that and do the same to other people. So if I judge myself, then if I see you doing the same thing, I'll be like, whoa, hey man, what the fuck are you doing? Or you shouldn't be doing that. They'll tr the society will start to control each other. They'll have to do less controlling because the people in the, like, some people have called it like the sheep. And I, I don't like to use, like, I don't agree with um, that judgment, like, to label the people as sheep. It's like belittling their divinity in, and their humanhood. But I wouldn't want to slap a label, especially if it has a negative connotation, because I'm about loving and opening heart towards people, not about looking down or being self righteous or. And morally superior to people, so I never want people to be like looking down on one another or calling each other names. Hey, you're just a sheep. You're just that's just your ego, or you know that type of thing. I, I don't do that in my life anymore, and I did in the past. And I'm happy to admit, like I used to, like sort of have more of this negative stuff within me, the energy. And little by little, I've become aware of it, and I've let go of it, and I've purified myself more compared to how I used to be. And I, so um. So these societies were free from sexual deviancy, whatever, crime, or just overall crime. Because, so that's, a, that's what I want to say, so I really do literally, truly encourage you to get naked more. And it's, there's nothing, there's, the, the body is beautiful. I shared some naked pictures, like I said, like one picture. It wasn't even fully enlightening anyway, because I'd probably be still a little bit embarrassed maybe possibly about that. <laughs> Just to be a little bit honest and transparent here. Um, it's not like I'm 100% totally comfortable myself. But I do, I do, it's such a spiritual experience and it's so happy and peace and good to go naked in the sea or a lake. My other Facebook friend who shares naked pictures with me occasionally, like he's a guy. <laughs> but he's not gay or anything. Not not that there's nothing wrong with that anyway, but uh, just that we're not having a gay interaction or anything. <laughs> not that that would be bad, but yeah, I'm not, that's just, that's not my, um, that's not the way I am really. And I, I wouldn't mind if it was, but it just happens to be not the way I am, you know, I'm not homosexual, um, orientated. So that's a pretty nice rock, isn't it? Like a lovely yellow rock. So, in this video, my, my aim and goal and objective is to bring clarity and to help bring energetic peace and lightness. To be able to let go of the heaviness surrounding our, our body and ourselves and other people. Because some people will be afraid to maybe post about swimming, being naked or swimming naked. Maybe women more so because they don't want to like trigger um, deviant men into becoming sexual or stalking. If you know what I mean, you know you have to be realistic and sensible. Um, so we're not talking about walking down Main Street or like downtown or whatever the word you use, running naked or whatever. You get arrested. <laughs> but if you're in one of these cultures where it wasn't all programmed to be bad thing, wrong, or, or like, if, if it was just an ordinary, normal, natural thing, you know what I mean? Like, people have sexual organs, it's like, we have blood system, or heart, we have genitalia, or genitals, whatever you want to call it. We have these reproductive system, we have our circulatory system, our skeletal system, lymphatic system, our, all the different organs, and our nervous system, so, you know, <laughs> Is our nervous system bad? No. Is our sexual system bad? No. no of course not. But So it's, there's nothing bad or good, as Shakespeare says. It's only how you use things. For example, money is not, it's just an energy. It's just like a stick. So I can either like use this stick to dig and plant melon seeds, like I have up there. 
and over there and you can see there's some bananas in the distance over there too which is you won't be able to see in this video this camera or I can use a stick to try and rob somebody or beat them up so money is the exact same way but um, so I made a Facebook post today also saying like the only thing that I'm truly 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 dedicated to is being of love and light and peace and all of those good pure good things real things my natural true self that's the only thing I care about in the world really like truly if you know what I mean like as a commitment what's, what, what strikes a chord with me my heart and I said I don't really care about money uh, I don't really care about like you know a lot of stuff really but 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 but, but then I said I don't want to confuse anyone though I don't mean that I don't literally like care about money I do but I only use to earn I only wish to earn and use money from a place of peace, love and light. So that means to um to be to use it in a good way in a in a way that produces positive results and nurtures and uplifts and brings positive good effect 